Hey everyone, Tenebris here. Welcome back to the channel. So I want you guys to pay very close attention to what I have to say here because your information is most likely at risk. I also want you guys to send this video to as many people as you can that you know who play Minecraft because you guys need to be safe and I don't want you guys to have your information leaked or whatever. So please send this to as many people as you possibly can. And that's not just for the views. It's just because I want you guys to stay safe because there is an information leak in Minecraft 1.8. So, what do I mean by that? I mean, basically, a server can see any file on your computer using an exploit. So, this post was created by Punk Heel yesterday, and it's titled Information Leak in Minecraft 1.8. So, uh, he goes, he talks about Minecraft, and it says, Minecraft can be played in single-player, multiplayer, and on Realms. Realms is the multiplayer version hosted by Mojang. The flaw we describe only targets multiplayer, where servers are controlled by third parties. The 1.8 version, released on September 2nd, 2014, introduces resource packs, custom images and sounds to use when rendering the world. Two packets were introduced in the Minecraft protocol, a resource pack send and resource pack status. So as you guys see right here, here are the packets. And as you guys probably know, in 1.7, they had the 1.7 texture packs and then they changed it to resource packs. And there's two packets that were added, resource pack send and resource pack status. The associated code looks like this. You can see the actual name of the packet right here. So it's S48, packet resource pack send, and C19, packet resource pack status. That's in the, um, the client code right there. And now he's going to go on and tell us about how to trigger the exploit. So here we go. To trigger the exploit, servers simply need to send a resource pack send packet using a URL that starts with level colon backslash backslash. The game will try to load that file from the saves directory. If the file exists, a packet with the status accepted is sent. If not, a packet failed download is sent instead. Traversing directories is also possible using dot dot backslash, putting the whole computer's data at risk. Servers can check if a file exists on the player's computer, enumerate usernames, but maybe even worse. See PHP's issue with the file exists and far files. I'm not 100% sure what that is, but pretty much they can check to see if any file exists on your computer. This exploit is invisible from the player's perspective and can be triggered at any time while playing on a server. Players have no way to know if the exploit was used against them in the past. This exploit can be automated and accelerated by sending the packet in batch. The server knows that the responses will follow the same order. Even better, the client is generous enough to send back the hash, which is conveniently sent by the server, and can just be the checked path itself. In the 1.9 version, released on February 29th, 2016, a condition was added to make sure the exploit is prevented. The level colon backslash backslash protocol can't use dot dot to go up in directories, and the resources dot zip suffix must be used. The status packet was also evolved to only send the status and not the hash, making it a bit harder to par parallelize the attack. So apparently this is the fix, I believe, in 1.9. The security issue was fixed silently by Mojang, and no patches were made to the 1.8 version of the game. Four years later, thousands of players still use the 1.8 version of the game, or a fork of it. And by the way, this affects every single 1.8 version. 1.8.0, 1.8.9, 1.8.5, 1.8.7, 1 whatever. Every single 1.8 version has this exploit. I haven't seen any publicly available code taking advantage of this exploit. Mojang once replied to the Minecraft Java Edition skins issue, which, you know, I have covered in the past before, outlined by Vast, but missed the chance to communicate about the resource pack flaw, sadly. P.S. This also allows servers to check if cheats or mods are installed on the player's computer, but I advise you not to do so. Doing so would be illegal. That is actually true because it's without their consent or whatever. So anyway, what can we do about this? Well, my friend Skier over here made a cool nifty mod, which I need every single person who watches this video to download. Okay, I'm not exaggerating that because if, they, if you go on a server, which is going to be using this exploit, they can basically get any any file on your computer. They can basically just see the file. So here's the, uh, here's the mod right here. So this is resource exploit fix. You just download this, put this in your mods folder. It, it should work on most versions of 1.8, I believe. The Badline client and Hyperium developers are aware of this exploit and hope, hopefully we'll be fixing it soon. Anyway, please download this mod, stay safe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.